Hi, this is Sonia from Nell Stand for Fun. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create this beautiful manicure, which is inspired by love letters and roses. I hope you guys enjoy the video. There are a lot of steps to this manicure. I'm going to try my best to tell you guys the steps. The first step was I apply this beautiful color from China Glaze called Five Rules. This is my base color. Now we're going to do the first stamping, which will be using this beautiful plate from Bunny Nails, which is B-U-N-A, A plate. We'll be using this design here in the corner, which will be stamping with China Glaze White on White. So that's going to be our first step. That's what we're going to do right now. Apply the polish. Gently swipe pick up and stamp. Now if you can see these steps right now of the base color is optional alright. I did this it gives you a, a little bit of a, an effect uh, like an old piece of paper alright so that's the first step now we're going to the next step. For the second step we'll be using another bunny nail stamping plate. This is HDH. We'll be using this image right here which we'll be stamping with two beautiful colors. We'll be using this color from China Glaze which is Swanky Silk <laughs> and then we'll be stamping with this beautiful color from China Glaze called Kalahari Kiss. So we're going to stamp two times, all right? This is optional, like I said before. If you want to, you can do what I'm doing. If not, you can skip it and just leave it with the regular base color. But this gives it a little bit more dimension. This is a very light golden color. It gives it a little bit of sparkle. Clean up the plate. Now we're going to stamp with the other color. Okay. I don't know if you can see, but it looks very pretty with the different colors. Now we go on to the next step. Now we go on to the next step. We'll be using B-U-N-A B plate, another beautiful plate from Bunny Nails. And we're going to use this beautiful design right here as the lettering of our love letter. And I will be stamping with Bundle Monsters Black. Okay, we apply the polish, gently swipe, pick up. Now we're going to try to place it, the lettering going down. Okay, we stamp. And there we have the lettering on the nail. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to apply a top coat at this point. That way if I make any mistake stamping with green or with the red, I can take it off with a piece of tape. So I apply my polish, my top coat, and I'm going to let that completely dry before I start stamping again. For the final steps, this is going to be the last stamping plate I will be using, which is the first one we started with. This is the B-U-N-A A plate. Remember we used this pattern at the beginning with the white. Well now we're going to use this beautiful pattern right here for the leaves and we'll be using these roses. The big one and the small one because that's going to be our accent nail and for that one I place two flowers, okay? 
I forgot to add that I'm going to be using two Mundo de Uñas polishes for these steps. This is going to be for the beautiful green leaves. This is 52 lemon tree and this is 32 reddish if I'm not mistaken. Now first we're going to stamp in the beautiful leaves. I apply the polish, gently swipe, pick up. Now I'm going to try my best. Let me clean this up a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to try my best to put it like in the corner of the nail and just a little bit of the branches and leaves. Just like that. Just a little bit. Okay. That's the first part. Now we're going to apply the beautiful roses. I'm going to apply the, the largest rose right here in the corner and the smallest rose right here on the top. Just like I did here. First we're going to stamp the first rose. There we have it. And now we just apply it to the corner of our nail. Okay. Now we're going to stamp the last rose. Okay. And we're going to apply it to the corner. It doesn't matter if the, the rose is completely stamped. You can just stamp half of it like I did right there. Okay, I quickly cleaned up and now I'm going to apply my top coat. And there we go. And here's the final result. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. And remember, you don't have to use the same exact nail stamping plates. I'm sure you guys have something that are similar to these images. And of course, you can use different colors as well. Remember, the important thing is to have fun. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please take care and happy stamping. Bye.